Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and today we're taking a look at the refraction equation. If you haven't yet watched the video on refraction, please watch that first. I'll put a link in the description box below, and then you can watch this video afterwards. So we have a couple learning goals here today. You should be able to calculate the index of refraction when given the speed of light in a medium, and you should be able to calculate the speed of light in a medium when given the index of refraction. So let's take a look at the formula we'll be using. N equals C over V. N stands for the index of refraction of a medium. C is the speed of light in a vacuum, and C is always 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and V is the speed of light in a specific medium. So in the example, it may say uh, you're looking at the speed of light in water. So N will be based on water, and V will also be based on water. Or if it asks for the speed of light in diamonds, N will be based on diamonds, and V will be based on diamonds. So they'll always be based on that same medium, whereas C is always the speed of light in a vacuum. So let's take a look at an example here. The speed of light in olive oil is 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. What is the index of refraction in olive oil? And remember, the speed of light in a vacuum, so C, is always 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Well, we're given some information here. The speed of light in olive oil is 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So if we use our GRASS method, givens are the speed of light in olive oil, which is V, is 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, and C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. R for required, what do we need to know? We want to know N, the index of refraction in the olive oil. A for analysis, well what's our formula? N equals C over V. So now we just need to substitute in there. So substitution or solve, n equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second over 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And if we do that math there, we end up with 1.47. You'll notice there's no units here because meters per second crosses out with meters per second. So the N has no units. And so if we write a sentence here, the index of refraction is 1.47. So that's how we would solve a problem like this. Let's take a look at another example here. The index of refraction of ice is 1.33. What is the speed of light in ice? And again, C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we're given some information here. Oops. We're given some information here. The index of refraction is 1.33, and C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we'll write these down as our givens. N equals 1.31. Again, there's no units for N. And C equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. The required, what do we need to know, is the speed of light in ice. Analysis, so we'll take a look at our equation. N equals C over V. Now we need to rearrange this equation so that we know what V is equal to. And I'm not going to show you the steps to rearranging the equation, but if this is something you didn't learn in math last year or it's something you struggle with, come ask me in class tomorrow and we'll go through the steps to do this. So V equals C over M. So now let's substitute those values in. C equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 1.33, or sorry, 1.31. And if we do the math there, we end up with 2.29 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And so now we can write a sentence. The speed of light in 
in ice is 2.29 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So that's how we would do a problem like that. So let's take another look at our learning goals. You should be able to calculate the index of refraction when given the speed of light in a medium, and you should be able to calculate the speed of light in a medium when given the index of refraction. If you can do these things, fantastic. If not, please rewatch the video, and if you're still having trouble, come ask me in class tomorrow. Alright, that's all for now. Bye-bye!